Iran has claimed that the Iranian air defense has shot down two Israeli F-35 stealth fighter jets, while the Israeli defense forces have strongly denied the Iranian claims. If Iran's claim is verified, it would make it the first nation to shoot down an F-35 in combat. Dozen Israeli civilians have been injured and three have lost their lives, and several houses and buildings were damaged when Iran fired a barrage of ballistic missiles at Israel, in retaliation for Israel's surprise attack on its nuclear facilities and military leadership. At the invitation of the President of Cyprus, Prime Minister Modi will pay an official visit to Cyprus on 15 June, which will be the first visit of an Indian Prime Minister to Cyprus in over two decades, which is considered a swan geopolitical rival of Turkey. Solar Industries has announced that its Park Gavastra system is ready, which is a low-cost indigenous counter-drone system that is equipped with 64 ready-to-fire missiles for neutralizing drone swarms using micro-munitions. Experts have said that a major part of the recent 20% increase in Pakistan's defense spending will go towards fixing the damages done by Indian missile strikes on 12 Pakistani air bases. During the 18th Indian Navy and French Navy staff talks in Paris, both sides have agreed to advanced cooperation in operational interoperability through exercises, training exchanges and enhancing cooperation on niche technologies. The first development trials of 150 km range M1 interceptor of Project Kusha is expected to take place in September this year, with induction into the Indian Air Force by 2028. The Aeronautical Development Agency has received responses from 11 leading Indian companies for its expression of interest concerning the detailed design and engineering of the airframe for the AMCA program. Armenian media has reported that Armenia is seeking greater intelligence cooperation and more military exercises with India. Larsen and Tubro has unveiled its terrarial target system, that is being positioned as a potential replacement for the Banshee aerial target system. The Indian Ministry of Defence is finalising a multi-year contract to establish a constellation of spy satellites by end of 2026, that will monitor foreign satellites spying on India. After positive experience with the 72 Mark 39 howitzers ordered in 2022, Armenia is now evaluating the upgraded Mark 45, that offers enhanced range and firepower. Kaliani Strategic Systems has also offered its 155mm 52 caliber truck mounted at AGS, further expanding options for Armenia's artillery modernization. The Tejas Mark II slated for rollout in late 2025, will incorporate advanced artificial intelligence capabilities derived from the AMCA program, that will integrate data from the radar electronic warfare suite and other sensors, to identify and prioritize enemy targets and suggest optimal engagement strategies. This decision support capability will reduce pilot workload, enabling faster and more precise responses in high-stakes combat scenarios. The DRDO has confirmed that the Netra Mark II AWACS will feature both side-looking and front-looking ASA radars. The side-looking radar will enable wide-area monitoring of aerial threats across the broad sector, while the front-looking radar will enhance forward detection capabilities, and this configuration will ensure near 360-degree coverage for tracking stealth aircraft ballistic missiles and other low-observable targets. Today's Top 3 Comments